The Mac Adams Prover is used for proving yeast-based dough, a process that allows the volume of the dough to rise. In this video, we will be showing you the safe work procedures, operation and cleaning of the Mac Adams range of equipment. As with all bakery equipment, the correct safe work procedures must be followed at all times to minimize potential hazards and workplace injury. Knowing how to correctly inspect, operate, clean and maintain and protect yourself while operating the prover is essential for your safety and the safety of other employees. Ensure you are wearing the correct personal protective equipment and clear the area around the prover of any potential obstacles or hazards. Inspect the prover by checking that the electrical cable and plug have not been damaged and are in good working order, that there are no loose connections on the prover's control panel, and that the prover's water supply is securely fastened and that the water supply is open. Now check that the inside of the prover is free of obstacles and moisture. If necessary, wipe down the inside of the prover with a dry cloth as moisture hinders the prover's operation. Examine the bore valves inside the prover's water bars for visual damage. Now close the prover's door. Plug the electrical cable into the wall socket and switch the mains on. If you identify any potential hazards during your inspection, do not use the prover. Report your findings to your supervisor immediately. To operate the prover, turn the power switch on. Now set the required temperature on the six step temperature dial, which ranges from zero to 90 degrees and the required humidity using the humidity dial, which ranges from one to six. It is recommended to prove products at the temperature between 30 and 40 degrees, which is step three on the temperature dial, and with a humidity between 70% and 80%, between three and four on the humidity dial. Leave the prover for about 45 minutes to allow it to reach the required temperature. In the meantime, load your products onto the trolley. After 45 minutes has elapsed, open the prover and inspect the inside of the door. If there's a buildup of moisture, it means products are ready to be loaded for proving. Also examine the prover ceiling. If there are little droplets of water on the ceiling, it means the humidity is set too high. If the prover is ready for loading, push the loaded trolley into the prover and close the door immediately. As proving time differs from prover to prover, check your product's progress as per your recipe's requirements. Do not open the prover's doors too frequently as this results in a loss of heat and humidity, which results in products proving for longer than required, known as overproving. Upon completion, open the door and remove the trolley. Close the door immediately in preparation for loading the next batch, as this maintains the heat and humidity inside the prover. Follow these steps for every batch of product that requires proving. Once you have proved your final batch, switch off the prover Unplug the mains and leave the door open to allow moisture and heat to escape. Cleaning the machine is the next major step. Doing so daily is important to preventative maintenance that ensures the proper operation of this machine. It is important to follow your company's prescribed cleaning schedule. If the water you are using in the Prover steam box is hard, ensure you clean it weekly as it can cause a buildup of calcium. If the water you are using is soft, you can clean it every second week. To do this, first open the drainage valve and let the water drain out. Then open the lid. Now use a nylon brush to brush away any calcium buildup. Next, remove the probe holder and wipe down the electrodes. Now replace the probe holder and put the lid back on. Then close the drainage valve. When using the prover again, the vat will be automatically filled with water. Once the prover's heat and moisture has escaped, Wipe the inside of the prover using a clean dry cloth, making sure to leave no moisture behind. And clean the outside of the prover with a moist cloth soaked in warm soapy water. Dry the prover thoroughly. When you are sure the prover has been thoroughly cleaned and dried, sanitize it and allow it to air dry, wiping away any remaining moisture. Moisture is an important element of the proving process, so it is important not to allow any excess moisture to build up inside the prover when it is not in use. As such, the prover door must be left open when the device is not in use, even overnight. Finally, 
do an inspection of the prover, ensuring that it is in good working order. If there's any fault or damage, report it to your supervisor immediately. Remember, always follow the correct safe work procedures to protect yourself and fellow bakery staff and customers at all times.